people now to an update on a deadly rampage in Maine last year when an Army reservist killed 18 people at a bowling alley in a bar. In a final report, investigators found local law enforcement and Army leaders missed red flags repeatedly. ABC's Rhiannon Alley has more. An independent commission has outlined the missed opportunities it says could have prevented a deadly rampage in Maine. There were several opportunities that, if taken, might have changed the course of these tragic events. In October of last year, Army Reservist Robert Card opened fire at a bowling alley in Lewiston and then again at a nearby bar and grill, leaving 18 people dead and more than a dozen wounded. Card later took his own life. Our concern that is that he's either going to hurt himself or someone else. The report says police officers should have taken steps to use Maine's yellow flag law. Under that law, police can apply for a court order to temporarily seize someone's guns if they are suspected of being a threat. The report also details how people close to Card became concerned by his bizarre and paranoid behavior and called state police to approach him. I hope you understand that, that they're, they're concerned enough about your welfare that they called us. Oh, because they're scared, because I'm going to friggin' do something, because I am capable. And the report says Card's commanding officer knew of his hallucinations and increasingly aggressive behavior, collection of guns, and ominous comments about his intentions. But the starkest warning came from a fellow reservist one month before the shooting, writing in a text message, I believe he's going to snap and do a mass shooting. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York. Maine passed new legislation after the shootings. This month, a three-day waiting period for new gun purchases went into effect. 